Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans, and I am back with another video. Today I'm here to talk about the Planny Pack from Erin Condren and to compare the original Planny Pack to the Ultimate Planny Pack. The Ultimate Planny Pack was released this week and so I'm here to kind of show you what some of the similarities and differences are between the two items. I wanted to go ahead and post this before the sale went off. There is a 30% off sale right now if you're watching this in real time. On the Erin Condren site, it is the Black Friday sale, the biggest sale of the year. It's 30% off site-wide. So if you're interested in any of these items, please go ahead and click my link in the description below and copy and paste it into your browser that you'll be shopping with. Because when you do that, it lets Erin Condren know to continue to send me these products so I can continue to make these videos and bring them to your screen. So let's not waste any time and get right into the video. I think they marked the planning packs, the original ones, even further down. So you want to check that out. There is like a clearance going on right now in addition to the Black Friday sale. And then I wanted to show you some of the other planning packs I have. So I've actually had more than this in the past, but I did go ahead and give a few of them away. I had the orange one and some other solid colors. But right now I have the Flower Power, which is super cute. The Mid-Century Circle, the Kaleidoscope. And I have the Flora design here. So for comparison, I'm going to show the Flora Planny Pack with the Flora Ultimate Planny Pack. So when we compare these two items, the first thing I notice is that the shape is a little bit different. So let me zip this side up a little bit so you can see. The shape is a little different. So with this one, it's kind of just like straight rectangular, right? You have your four corners here. And with the Ultimate Planny Pack, you have three corners, right? But then this corner here is kind of rounded out. Okay, and that is because the next detail is that these zippers go all the way around with the ultimate planning pack. So with the original planning pack, right, when you open it up, you can see it from a top down view. And it just has some space for you to be able to add some of your favorite accessories, pins, whatever. So I'm just going to add, you know, the scissors to it so you can kind of see how they fit inside. And so that is what it looks like, right? Then on the back, you have this band here which i'm obsessed with because i love to use this on my planners if it's on the seven by nine planner if it's on my a5 agenda i love to use it around my petite planner so it's super versatile and of course it can also be used for cosmetics and other things you might want to keep in your bag i also love that you can fit the new pocket planners in this as well so if you're a more minimal planner and you like small planning items you can take your pocket planner and put it inside just like that along with some accessories and things. So when you turn it around, you have your band of course, and then you have this pocket here, which is really cool and functional. You can put some stickers back there. I actually have some sticky notes here and I like to put them back here sometimes. So I just wanted to show you that and how it looks the, so they fit behind there. So if you want to put some stickers, some sticky notes or any type of loose papers back here, you could totally do that. Now to show you the differences. So this planner is very similar, but we have that rounded edge here because the zipper goes all the way around instead of just stopping here. We also have that same pocket, but now it's on the front instead of being on the back, which I actually really like. So for comparison, right, putting something in the pocket would look like that. So I really do like it. And it seems like this pocket is deeper. If you look at it, you see that this one is further down in it. And so I, I think the pocket just happens to be a little bit deeper on this one. Then when you open up the Ultimate Planning Pack, you have two additional pockets here. So we have this one here at the bottom, and then we have one here at the top. And the one at the top goes all the way down into the bottom. So for reference, this is how the sticky notes look in the top. I have some more sticky notes here. And when I take these and put them in the bottom, this is how it looks. All right, so you have sticky notes at the bottom, more at the top here, and then you still have room for your pens and things like that. So some of my planning pack essentials are my pocket scissors. These are from Erin Condren too. 
gotta have those so i put my pocket scissors in here it's my favorite planning tool that i love to keep with me and then i have my flora pen which is really beautiful and so i put that in the top there and i can also you know use this part and i can even fit a couple rolls of washi tape if I wanna just set those in there. And one of my favorite planning tools, the Tombow Adhesive. This is what I use to kind of stick pages together, to do any stickering, add additional adhesive to make my post-it notes into stickers. And so all of that fits inside of here. So of course, putting that adhesive in there made it a little more bulky, but as you can see, it handles it really well. I can totally throw this in my bag and put it on my planner. And if you wanna know how I use the Planny Pack, some people use them around their full planner like this. So you can put it around your entire planner and it fits perfectly. Or you can take it and just put it on the very first page of your planner. So if you wanna take it and just affix it to the cover of your planner, you can do it that way as well. That's kind of my preferred method. That way, if I need to open it really quickly, um, I can do that without taking the whole Planny Pack off. Of course, you can take your planning pack and put it around your entire petite planner. Look at that and how well that fits on there. I love how that fits on the petite planning system. And what I love about this is they've come out with even more new colors and designs. So this you can also get in this color. You can get the leopard print ultimate planning pack for your leopard print petite planner. So I love that. Love that it fits on the own the go folio that way. And my favorite way to use it, I love to put both of these planning packs on my A5 agenda. So I do that like this, put it on my A5 agenda, and then I just snap it here and it stays just like that. I affix it to the very first part of the planner. So I just kind of take it and wrap it around the front flap. I don't put it around the whole thing. I do believe it will fit around the whole thing, but it's very bulky. So I feel like it would stretch this out a little bit and I don't want that to happen. So I just put it around the very first flap. That's the best way to use it for me. And of course, it looks super cute with this other color as well. So I would definitely check out the new Ultimate Planny Packs. They have new colors, new designs. They have a new Hello Kitty one. They have the new leopard print one, which is really cute. And I would definitely check them out. Both of the options, the Ultimate Planny Pack and the original Planny Pack have really cute designs and options. And so I definitely recommend you checking out the new designs because they're really cute. I definitely think I'm gonna be purchasing a couple because I really like them. And with the leopard print one I was telling you about, they also have a leopard print strap to match the leopard print planning pack to match the leopard print on the go folio. I mean, who wouldn't want that trio? Having a leopard print bag with the leopard print strap, with the leopard print planning pack, with the leopard print folio, I mean, y'all. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I just want to put that out there that there are new designs for you to check out. I hope this comparison helped you all decide if you like the Ultimate Planny Pack or the original Planny Pack best. I do think they're very similar. For my personal favorite, honestly, it's kind of hard because I didn't mind this Planny Pack at all. Um, I, I just think it depends on what you're looking for. So if I'm sitting at my desk, right, and this is open, um, I feel like everything would stay in. And I feel like everything would stay in this one too if I just have them open, right? Because this pocket is keeping everything from like flying out. So I kind of like that about it. And I also think I just get more space. With this one, this is keeping a lot of things from coming out, right? So like when I try to pull this out, it's being blocked by this side. And so if I turn it, I can get it out. But with this one, I don't think I would have that problem at all because it's a little bit more spacious because of how the zipper is set up. So I could totally take this, put it inside of here and have zero issues with getting it in and out. So if I had to pick, I would say the Ultimate Planny Pack because I just feel like it's a little bit more functional. I'm able to get things out of here. And this design kind of you know, keeps me from getting a lot of things out. It makes it a lot less accessible and smaller. And you have this much on each side that you're not really able to use because you can't take something back out with that. So that is my detailed review and comparison of the Ultimate Planny Pack versus the original Planny Pack. Let me know if you enjoy using the Planny Pack. A lot of folks have asked me, is it worth the money? I'll put the price somewhere on the screen. 
personally regular price i think it's worth the money and so for it being 30 percent off i would definitely recommend if you're an erin condren fan and you have one of these designs of course mid-century circles layers um flower power flora any of these designs i would totally go ahead and grab it to match your planner cover because it's really cute durable as you can see i mean i had this one for a few years now i think i had this one since 2018 or 2019 so it's held up really well and i used it all the time when i first got it um and it's holding up great so i definitely recommend getting a planny pack if you don't have one already it is the perfect companion to your planner and of course who doesn't want a matching pencil case or storage case to go with their planner super cute i definitely recommend again if you're going to be purchasing anything with this sale 30 percent off make sure you go ahead and use my link in the description below because when you use my link it helps me to be able to show erin condren that you enjoy my content and it helps them to be able to keep working with me doing more collaborations i have a really fun collaboration coming up with erin condren in the next two weeks so if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram at poetry plans because that is where this collab will premiere so to speak you'll see it on Erin Condren's page. So I'm really excited about that. So please go ahead and follow myself and Erin Condren over on Instagram at Poetry Plans and at Erin Condren if you do have an Instagram page. Also, be sure to check out the description below. If you don't know where that is, it's next to the title below this video with a little down arrow to the right of the words, okay? So that's where you'll find that description. And let me know in the comments if you have a platy pack, how you like it, which color you have. I'd love to know. And also, if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and give me a some type of excited emoji because I do have a collaboration coming up with Erin Condren and I'm excited about it. So give me some type of exciting or love emoji, heart emoji, something that shows that like you're excited, I'm excited and we're going to be doing more content with EC for the EC fans out there. So make sure you go ahead and give me that excited emoji to let me know you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.